Hello ladies and gentlemen, Lizard Boy here. Uh, sorry about the lighting that's in here guys, so I'm trying to get things proper though, and right now it's like nighttime when I'm recording this video for you guys, so. But for this video for you guys, it has been a very, very, very long time since I did this type of video, which is a figure news. And I know I'm pretty slow at the updates because a lot, a lot has happened since I actually did my last um, figure news for you guys though. I know Wonderfest happened a couple months ago, the beginning of this year. Uh, Super 7's put out a whole bunch of stuff, including Mondo, X Plus, uh, you name it though. I know I'm, I'm really way far behind on the uh, figure news for you guys, but now that I'm finally back to do it more about it for you guys, I know a lot of you already know what's been going on, what's been, been pushed out, and I know a lot of... Um, I mean, see a lot of people actually being quite a bit more at the uh, Playmates line, though, which, sad to say, I haven't been finding anything at my local stores about them. But yeah, everyone else is getting them, so why can't I? But I thought I'd go ahead and throw in some figure news for you guys, and I know that, um, I thought we figured I'd go ahead and start with the uh, X Plus line, though, which... A lot of default reels are actually coming out, which they finally put out the Godzilla vs. Megalon line. And they already just had a, um... They put out the Godzilla 1973 one, which I gotta say... By looking at the pictures of it, though... I'm gonna have to skip on this one. I mean, the movie, I absolutely love it, though. It's a pretty good... Godzilla vs. Megalon is pretty great, though. I do know they're actually going to come out with a default reel of Jet Jaguar, Megalon, and the Gigan though, which I definitely want to get. The Guts I'm going to have to pass because I'm just not much of a fan of that suit though. Great in the movie though, but yeah. I don't know if I really want to get that though. That's just something out of my league though the way that suit was designed just wish it had a little bit more prepped around the face though yeah but some other d rails are coming out though which I actually just saw they actually did a colorized version they finally got put out a uh, a titanosaurus one which actually looks fantastic looking though I actually have the uh, the 30 centimeter one right here, but having a default real one, I definitely want to get that though. I definitely want to get that on pre-order and stuff like that, because it looks fantastic though. Um, I know I mentioned Mondo and Super 7. Uh, for Mondo, they're actually going to put out a new a um, Jet Jaguar figure though, like a vinyl uh, figure actually though. Almost looks like a like a Bandai mixed with a default reel, actually, a default reel X Plus. In a way, though, but it actually looks pretty interesting, though. I definitely want to try to get my hands on that, though. Looks pretty cool. Um, what was it? Super 7. I know I'm pretty late for this one, though. Super 7 just actually put out two new figures from Godzilla vs. Biollante, which. Let me see if I can get this guy. I know Super 7 put out a really good size looking Godzilla though. Kind of looks like a NECA in a way though, but like this big, but a little bit more. Uh, it comes out with uh, different varieties, different hands though, and different, um, different heads, I think it is. I can't remember what it was. But it's the size of an X Plus. No, size of a NECA. Scratch that though. Size of a NECA figure. It looks pretty big. And it runs about like 80 bucks for it though, that's why I heard. And for the Biolante though, they're actually going to come out with a... Um, look at it. Uh, I can't get to it though. They're finally actually going to come out with a rose for a Biolante though. Finally though. I need to get the rose form though. I had the other, I had the second form, but not the rose form. I want to get that so badly though. Um... Uh, who else had some new stuff coming out, though? I want to see... Was it Prime 1? No, not Prime 1. Um, there's a statue... 
a new statue I saw of Godzilla versus Ebera, where it's the scene where Godzilla flips him over by the by the side though Ebera over the side though. It's a pretty big statue though. Really, like really, really big statue though. It actually looks fantastic looking though. I definitely want to get more of Godzilla vs. Abra because I don't have a lot of much of that movie, though. I forgot who does it. Studio One? No, Prime One? I don't know who does that statue. I gotta look up a little more. I know I'm probably failing the, the names of things, though. Um... I want to... I'm trying to remember some stuff, though, too. I know someone's going to be coming out with some new Ultraman uh, chibi little figures, though. Like the mystery pack things you got, you get, though. But they're like little plastic statues of little Ultraman series from, like, the Ultraman Tiga and Ultraman Z, though. They actually look pretty cool looking, though. Um... I know a lot of them have been like X plus news though, and some of the default rails actually look pretty nice though. But I can't remember who is actually doing some of these certain ones. But um, I think that's basically it for this uh, figure news for you guys though. I know I'm falling way behind on the figure news though. Now I really am sorry for that though, but I'm trying to get back. I know I've been quite busy. I'm trying to focus on things though. But I am back at it again for more figure news. When I get some more updates, I will let you guys know immediately, though. But thank you guys for watching this. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description below. But thank you guys for watching this. I'll see you guys and talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.